scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. It may be the love of God that is displayed that will lead someone who has no business giving his life to Christ. But he will say, look, I am not a Christian, but I love you. I've heard of what is happening in this church. I've heard of what is happening in this community. It's not just by giving food and all of that. Just a, a warm display of love. That someone in the office is crying. And you come to him and say, what is wrong? And he says, don't, don't mind me. This whole thing, I'm tired of my life. And you don't look at him and say, you see, shame on you. I told you to come to Jesus. You will pay the price alone, dear. No. You come to him and say, look, it doesn't matter what the problem is, whether it's your fault or not. Let's cry together. Let me help you clean your tears before have you eaten. And the person says, wow, what church did you say you attend? I will tell you that later. Let's talk about Jesus and your own life now. And at the end of it, he will get up and say, for as long as I live, I will follow your God. Your God will be my God. This is where many times we fail as great people. We do a lot of religious things. But when it has to do with showing love, we miss out on it. Six keys. Bonny Island. Practice these keys. And even after 30 years when we come here, we will still find, find the fire of revival fanning. And if they ask you how come you have sustained it, just like you found the technology to sustain your environment and bring dexterity. Put it as a template for spiritual growth. Teach it to the young ones. When the fathers are going and they see the clouds coming, don't just give people money as an inheritance or lands. Give them these precepts. Teach your children. Teach your children's children. Please rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. Have a few minutes and we're done. How many of you here came with your prayer request? Did you come with your prayer request? Is it all right if I ask the ushers to just collate it? We're going to pray. We have a few minutes. We'll be very, very fast. If there are no ushers, let's just have one or two volunteers and then just you can just all of you can pass your request to the the last aisle and then lift it up let someone just call just collect it don't worry nobody's reading your request it's between you and the lord but whilst that is happening please i'd like you to open your mouth in one minute and thank the lord for what you have heard tonight if someone pray please don't be distracted pray 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 thank you jesus for your word the entrance of your word gives light understanding to the simple Ask and I'll give the nations to you, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises and as you say. 
ask and now give the nations to you oh lord that's the cry of my heart distant shores and the islands will see your life prayer point number one father we open up ourselves for a fresh revival across this land. Please lift your voice and begin to pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Are there people of prayer here? Lift your voice and pray to the king. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You are going to pray for the church in Bonnie Island. Regardless the denomination, you are going to declare and say, Father, let us attain a level of unity. We may not agree in everything. Unity does not mean uniformity. It means having one spirit and knowing that regardless the pockets of differences here, our ultimate goal is to glorify Jesus and to enthrone him. Lift your voice and begin to cry for the unity of the body. The grace to look beyond our differences. The grace to forbear with one another. Are you praying? The grace to look beyond our differences. The grace to forbear with one another. Pray for every church. Pray for every man of God that lifts up the banner of the gospel laboring for Jesus in this land. Amen. Prayer point number three. You are going to pray for every family here on the island. Father, fresh fire on every family. Let it start from the homes. Pray for your children. Pray for your wife. Pray for your husband. Saved or unsaved. Are there people of prayer here? Please make sure you pray. for revival in every home and awakening God consciousness Every home, oh God, every home in this island, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. Finally, you are going to pray for yourself. Now listen carefully. In Isaiah chapter 6 from verse 1. The Bible says, in the year that King Uzziah died, I, Isaiah, saw the Lord. What must die in your life for you to see the Lord? For some of you, it's pride that must die for you to see the Lord. For some of you, lust that must die to see the Lord. 
For some of you, greed must die to see the Lord. You're going to pray and say, Lord, I am available. Do not pass me as you move through this island. As you move through the nations, those following from whatever region, whatever nation, I'd like you to pray. Whatever you want to do, keep praying. Lord, you can do through me whatever you want to say. Lord, you can say through me whatever you want to bring. Lord, you can bring. you want to take Lord you can take through me keep praying whoever you want to bless Lord you can bless through me whoever you want to change Lord you can change I'm available. Go ahead and pray. Hela baratuska te prendege de balakatuska te pratiata. Cry to your Maker, your God and my God, your King and my King. Shala da bakata prendege de balikata piyada. Wherever you want to change, Lord, you can change through me. Whoever you want to lift, Lord, you can lift through me. still praying don't be tired enter into a fresh consecration a dedication for the service of the king take away pride take away flesh let there be a circumcision of the spirit for the sake of the revival that is coming can bring the request are you praying you are still praying for yourself I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours forever I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours my life is yours it's yours it's yours forever it's yours, it's yours, it's yours. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, there are three or four things that we're going to do in the next 10 minutes or so, and then we'll wrap up my final session with us. Number one, we have these prayers. It's a representation of the hunger, the needs of God's people. It says, unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I want you to believe that these Egyptians you see today, that you will see them no more forever. Number two, I'm going to be praying 
and ministering the healing and the delivering power of God. Sadly, we may not have time to take testimonies because I understand you have a curfew and we must respect it. Number three, which is very important, there are graces and mantles that must fall on someone in this place this night. Maybe not everybody, but I know for sure there are people who came here. You must carry something. And then number four, I had a vision early this morning. I was sleeping, very tired and I was sleeping. And all of a sudden, in that vision I was taken to your sea. And I saw what looked like a, you know how fishes come out, very big fish. Came out out of the river, went back again. Came out the second time, went back again. Came out the third time, went back again. And the Spirit of the Lord told me, this is the Spirit that sits upon this territory. And we pray. Because there is a prophetic push that this land must receive. A restoration of the life, the fire of the gospel, the passion and the hunger for the things of God. I told you there are spirits that interrupt the program of God. We do all this within the next 10 minutes very quickly. Please let your heart be desperate. Now let me say this. If anyone is under the anointing, whether you are an usher or not, please be your brother's keeper. Anyone is under the anointing, we may not have time to bring them out, except if I ask so. Just help them to just lie quietly so that they don't injure themselves. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you ready to pray? Father, that which must come upon my life tonight to change my destiny and to set me on fire, I receive by faith. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Please pray. There's going to be a great awakening. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to pray. Let's agree by faith and decree and declare that everything you wrote here may the power of God come to bring testimonies upon it. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray. As I lay my hands over your requests. Bonnie Island, pray. Shibalakata prandegete beleketa Unto you that answers prayer Shall all flesh come Lord let there be transformation Let there be miracles upon this land In the name of Jesus Talashata barakata prandegete palakatos Shegete perekoska da pala Embrakatoska de prandegete balata Visit your people, O oh God. Bring them miracles. Bring them signs. Turn captivities around. In the name of Jesus, open closed doors. Bring glory to the name of Jesus. Bring glory to the name of Jesus. Bring glory to the name of Jesus. Financial blessings, spiritual awakenings. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ like Paul would over the church in Ephesus. And I call upon the God of my covenant that in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, everything written here that is a prayer request may it be turned tonight into a testimony let impossible situations be turned around in the name of jesus for some of you on your way going home you will begin to meet some of these answers Let impossible situations be turned around. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh God, may nothing written here remain in the life of your people. Every human agent that must be in partnership with God to make this request come to pass, we declare that connection is made now. Everything to be restored here, be restored in Jesus' name. Everything you are tired of seeing that needs to live your life, I agree with you that as you wave it goodbye this night, it waves you back forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please listen very quickly. I want to make an altar call before we finish up the impartation. There are people here up the balcony following online from whatever nation and right here outside, inside, you're saying, Apostle, I do not want you to end this meeting and leave this town without giving me an opportunity. For all of the sessions we've had people come to Jesus and let tonight be no different. Whilst you heard me preach, whilst you heard me speak, the Spirit of the Lord began to tell you that could it be that you are part of this great army that God is raising? But it starts with a genuine encounter with Jesus. Two categories I'm going to call in one. You've never encountered Jesus genuinely as Lord and Savior. Knowing Jesus as healer does not bring you salvation. Knowing Jesus as a prophet does not bring you salvation. Knowing Jesus as a good man does not bring you salvation. Knowing Jesus as God does not bring you salvation. There is no other name under heaven, the Bible declares, that has been given unto men by which we must be saved. And then you are here and you are saying, Apostle, I gave my heart to the Lord, but for some reason, because of carelessness or the way my life has gone, the vicissitudes of life, I cannot truly say I'm standing strong in the faith. These two groups of people, I'm going to count one to five very quickly. Wherever you are, I want you to leave your seat up, down, outside, run and come and stand before the Lord here. A count of one to five. Don't wait for anyone to be the first. Win that war tonight. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. People are coming. If you're coming, come. Run to Jesus. He leads me and guides me to the city up above. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. He leads me and guides me to the city of above. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. Keep coming. You're coming from the balcony. Please encourage them as they come very quickly. Come to Jesus unashamed. Come to Jesus intentionally. Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. I want to come, but I'm afraid and I'm ashamed of my friends. Leave them and win that war tonight. Come and join them. Run to Jesus. Whosoever would come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Young, old, come to Jesus alike. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now please look at me. I salute every one of you for the noble decision to come stand before your maker. You're not standing before an altar. You're not standing before Joshua Selman. You're standing before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I want you to lift your right hand. Every one of you lift it high to the heavens. And I want you to say this prayer of faith after me. Let it be from the depth of your heart. You are not reciting a poem. Jesus is here. Say after me, Lord Jesus. One more time, say it. Believe what you are saying. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I declare that I love you with all my heart. Tonight, I declare that Jesus is my Savior, is my Lord, and my King. I receive mercy and forgiveness 
from every sin and every guilt and I also receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that from today and forever I am a child of God I am saved I belong to Jesus and I will serve him all the days of my life no going back forward ever and backward never in Jesus name keep your hands lifted father I pray for these ones it's an honor to lift them before your throne tonight I ask in the name of Jesus according to the authority of scripture that their sins are forgiven and I declare that you are partakers of the life of God you receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and I declare that you reign in life I plant in you a hunger for the things of God and I commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit the Lord will raise you and cause you to advance you will serve him all the days of your life in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen now please all of you in concert just move to my left which is your right there's a counselor waving their hands let's celebrate them as they go please celebrate them everyone celebrate them as they go is that the best you can do celebrate them as they go are you ready to receive the next few moments will be a very prophetic moment and I want you to please pay attention many years ago the Lord Jesus appeared to me and in that encounter I had very dramatic moments with the Lord Jesus Christ I have seen him I know he's alive in that encounter the Lord Jesus stretched his right hand towards me and light marvelous light came into my spirit many of you have listened to my teachings and you've heard me say how I did not die is a mystery that I will ask him when we get to heaven and from that encounter I did not know that it was an impartation many things began to happen in my life signs and wonders angelic activities supernatural access to revelation and in a separate encounter the Lord spoke to me and said my son from this day I give you my presence as a gift and I saw this angel mighty angel that stood before me and he said he will walk with you I said what is his name he said he's called the angel of the Lord's presence and then the Lord gave me an instruction in another encounter he said everywhere I send you to any nation any continent any region there must be people in that place that the light that came from me to you there must be someone who must receive of that land that light and I have not failed in this assignment not once every time he grants me the grace to travel to regions help them please there will always be one person and so this along with the impartation there are graces that must fall upon you right now there are anointings many of you are the custodians of the next revivals upon the Bonnie Island and from Bonnie Island across the nation across the continent I'm stretching my hands right now father I'm seeing the number 38 there are 38 people here the grace that is coming upon you is a, a grace for encounters and the secret place take that grace help them please in the name of Jesus Christ help them please from the front to the back my left to my right father in the name of Jesus as many as must drink of this grace I declare may that fire fall on them now over Bonnie Island revivalists arise over Bonnie Island prophets prophetesses over Bonnie Island intercessors arise by the Spirit help them please 
Is there a way you can bring these ones out? These ones I'm praying for. Please, if you can't, just bring them out. Just help them. I'm praying. Fire is falling on people right now. The Lord is releasing graces. There are women here. There are ladies that are going to be after the order of Deborah. Intercessors. Wailing women. Where are they? I stretch my hand. May that grace for intercession. Let it come upon you right now. Help them. Help them please. In the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power to break every chain. Now, the grace for the evangelistic. There are people here, you are stepping into an anointing. Grace is the kind that men like T.L. Osborne stepped into from right from this land. I release that grace. Take that fire. 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 Help them please. Take that fire. In the name of Jesus. The front is filled. You don't have to bring them again. Just guide them where you are. Now please hear me. Hear me. The Spirit of God is ministering to me. There are some of you, especially you are mothers. You may be elderly, but there is a grace God wants to restore. God will show you things in dreams and they will happen exactly as you saw. But it looks like that grace has been lost. Right now in the name of Jesus, we find that grace back to flames. We find that grace back to flames. Madam, this woman lifting her hands. Just lift your hands. I'm seeing what looks like oil coming on you. I stretch my hands right from here. Take that grace. Help her please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take that grace by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is releasing the spirit of prayer and intercession. There are prayer warriors from this encounter. I'm seeing the number 15, 1, 5. Prayer altars. We set you on fire now. On fire now. In the name of Jesus. Prayer altars. Men and women of prayer. Young men and women intercessors. Prophetic intercessors. Arise by the Spirit. Pray down revival. Pray down signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Please pay attention. There are some of you, the grace for leadership is on you. Leadership, governance. You will be the ones to set the structure. The Daniels and the Josephs. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know where they are. But in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Anyone here with the grace for leadership to see to it that the purposes of God is preserved even in government. I release that grace upon you. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. There are some of you who are called into ministry. Some of you are already in ministry. The fivefold now. There needs to be stamina. There needs to be endurance. I want to pray for you. End time ministry requires stamina. There are arsenals from hell that will arise. It takes discipline. It takes stamina. It takes diligence. The grace to serve God acceptably. The grace to serve God with fire. The fire for revival. The fire for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you. 
May that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. Let me pray for the sick now. Please lay your hands if you are trusting God for a miracle. You are trusting God for any kind of deliverance. We don't have all the time, but I want to speak over you now. Believe God. Agree with me in shouting a loud Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil of infirmity, every spirit that is back of diseases and infirmities, be gone now in the name of Jesus. Be gone now in the name of Jesus. Now I declare from the crown of your head, to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus Amen. healing to your eyes in the name of Jesus Amen. healing to your feet in the name of Jesus Amen. receive strength in your body in the name of Jesus Amen. every blood condition here we change that situation now we change that situation now Every problem with your hearing, I declare receive a miracle now. Every organ failure in your body, be healed in the name of Jesus. High blood pressure, be healed in the name of Jesus. Ulcers, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every blood related condition, be healed in the name of Jesus. Bone conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Spinal cord conditions. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Ulcers of all sorts. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, every growth in your body, lumps around the breast area, around the stomach, fibroids, in the name of Jesus, we curse you by the God of heaven. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please. May I request, if you do not mind, if I can have just three or four ministers of the gospel here, maybe uh, Reverend, our pastor, and two or three others. I want us to stand prophetically, representing the church over Boni, and I want us to speak over the land, please. Please celebrate the fathers as they come. The reason why I ask the men of God to come is number one, to represent the unity of the body. But number two, to stand under a corporate anointing based on the vision that I saw. Every time I travel to regions, listen to me. I pray every time from the depth of my heart the prayer that Jesus prayed that they be one. The truth is that we may never exactly be one in terms of sameness of approach or even some aspects of doctrine but it's too small a reason to bring divisions this must be a new season of embracing ourselves regardless the limitations we are not all perfect we are a project but God has shown us mercy and we must carry that mentality and stand as one body one Lord, one faith, and even one baptism as the Bible teaches. It is the same heaven all of us are going into. 
And so we must stand to see that the gospel advances. But we must stand as a corporate people and declare over the land. And so I have asked the servants of God representing the men and women in this land to come stand with me in agreement as we pray this one prayer. Your assignment is to agree and release your faith as we shout amen. Are we in agreement? Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We bring before you this entire island, Bonnie Island, a land that you have loved, an island that you have invested your power upon. We speak right now by the Spirit to the spirits that operate across this territory. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, everlasting doors. Let the King of glory have a triumphant entry over Bunny Island in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The same way our fathers did. We stand tonight by the privilege of God's grace. We rededicate Bonnie Island and we declare Bonnie Island, you belong to Jesus. Bonnie Island, hear the word of the Lord. May Jesus find expression upon your land. We call Bonnie Island a center of revival a center of signs and wonders, a center of prosperity, a center of godliness, a center of righteousness, a center of unity, a center of advancement, a center of advancement. Hear me. Anyone who will divide the men and the women in this land, we close the spiritual borders of this land against them. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of untimely death. That attempts to sweep people in this land. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. And under the corporate anointing of the man of God. We declare no more in Jesus name. We pray for the women in this land. You will no longer be widows prematurely. We pray for the men in this land. You will no longer be widowers prematurely. We pray for the children in this land. You will no longer be orphans prematurely. Father, every church, every assembly, every cathedral in this land, we dedicate it as a center for righteousness. A center for missions. A center for miracles. A center for mentorship. Lord, we stand in the spirit of the fathers of the land. The men and women who labor for the gospel here. Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowder. James Johnson. And all the heroes whose blood is upon your land. We pray, let there be a move of the Spirit again. Let there be a move of the Spirit again. Raise apostles in this land. Raise prophets in this land. Raise evangelists in this land. Raise missionaries in this land. We pray for all the oil companies represented here. All of them. I may not know all of them by name. But we use NLNG, Shell and all that are part of this program. No spirit will abort the program of God. Hear me. We pray for their leaders. I pray for your kings in this land. I pray for your chiefs in this land. In the name of Jesus. Every royal kingdom and every palace will serve Jesus, the God of the Bible. I stand by prophecy. We command the earth to close over evil in this land. The reign of evil 
vices that corrupt vices that interrupt status quo we judge you by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus Christ hello Lord, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you